Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing higher on Monday as the Nasdaq reaching a new record high. Shares in automobiles and components, semiconductors and semiconductor equipment and materials, they all gained traction. On the economic dock at the Chicago Fed National Activity Index decreasing to 0.13 in July from a revised 0.48 in June. Advancers ahead of decliners, 72% of S&P 500 constituents trading higher yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, Heiko Corporation reporting third quarter diluted EPS of 49 cents versus 34 cents a year ago on revenue of $466 million. While turning overseas, Asian markets slightly up today, the Nikkei up 0.06%, the Hang Seng up just about a quarter percent, China CSI 300 down 0.19%, and South Korea's Kospi up 0.17%. European markets mostly higher and U.S. futures calling for a positive start. In terms of expectations today, Best Buy second quarter EPS seen at 83 cents. Tiffany & Company second quarter EPS seen at $1.01, while Hewlett Packard Enterprise third quarter EPS seen at 37 cents on sales of approximately $7.7 billion. While on the economic dock at 8.30 in the morning, we have the July advanced goods trade balance as well as the July preliminary wholesale inventories read. 9 o'clock in the morning, we have the June S&P CoreLogic Case Schiller 20 City Month Over Month Index. While 10 o'clock in the morning, we have the August Consumer Confidence Board read. Now, turning over to the markets, the S&P 500, that sees a bullish bias above 28.85, and that's also in focus. Technically, the relative strength index above its neutrality area at 50. Long positions above 28.85 are favored with targets at 29.10 and 29.18 in extension. The Nasdaq, meanwhile, sees the bias remain bullish, while the Dow Jones sees a bullish bias above 25,975.